Before cleanup began, the plutonium finishing plant on the Hanford site had a total of 232 glove boxes throughout the building. Using American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funds, CH2 M Hill Plateau Remediation Company has been able to cut that number in half. It doubled our workforce, to be quite honest, and it allowed us to go from five D&D teams up to 19 D&D teams in Dash 5 and ZB and PRF uh, to allow a ability to, in parallel, be able to remove a lot of material, a lot of glove boxes, a lot of contaminated piping and systems all at the same time. Over the past year, the PFP team has been conducting glove box removal work in the analytical laboratory section of the plant. The lab, which once contained 76 glove boxes and hoods, was used to sample the plutonium product created by the facility's two production lines. 75 of the glove boxes have been removed from the building completely, and one is all wrapped up and ready to move. That glove box is too large to move, so it will remain in place until the rest of the facility is cleaned out. Five high-performing teams worked in the analytical labs and completed a staggering amount of work. It's a significant milestone. A lot of uh, very talented people uh, got to show their skills on how to do this safely, compliantly, and made a lot of progress in a short period of time. Of those removed, 59 were done with Recovery Act funding. All of the PFP teams together, a mix of existing workers and Recovery Act hires, are making progress each day and doing it safely. The team of more than 700 people recently achieved 1 million hours without a days away restricted time injury.